my water's on the ground, dang it. You can't stop the tears from falling down. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Madeline and I'm here with another video. So I have not done a video like this in a very, very long time, but I'm going to do one now. So I hope you enjoy. These are going to be my October must-haves. We're talking fragrance, beauty, skin, basically all of my favorite products that I have been loving this month. So I'm going to be sharing them with you. Also, if you hear me sniffling a little bit, I am recovering from a cold or maybe I'm getting sick. I can't tell, but we're just going to roll with it. Also, I want to show you really quick. Look how cute this bag is the spooky hose so andy actually got me this about a week ago we went to this halloween flea market it's like an hour out like an oxnard so it was pretty far but it was actually a really cool experience trader joe's spooky hose basket if you guys don't know you will know now one of my favorite movies of all times is Coraline. it is this movie if you haven't seen this movie it's such a good movie some people think it's trippy i have a couple conspiracy theories let me know if you have your own but he got me the squid if you guys don't know, this is the original squid from the movie in the other world. Now, from my knowledge, what I know is that the light pink button is the original one. Actually, the vendor that I purchased it from told me that the manufacturer doesn't make the light pink buttons anymore, mainly because it's really hard to get. And so she had a bunch of hot pink ones and she was like, you must be an OG. And I was like, oh, yes. If you guys don't know, the ears are the only thing that changes in the other world. Now, again, if you haven't seen this movie yet, you may not know what I'm talking about. So go ahead and check it out. But this is the squid that she has. So now I have another plushie. Also, if you guys don't know, I'm obsessed with little plushies. Let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. First products are fragrance. Now, I was pretty excited about the fragrance portion just because I have a couple that I want to share with you guys. Some that I didn't mention in my last video and some that I'm gatekeeping just because they are my favorite. I don't know what to be sold out. Not saying that you might like it, but it just depends on your preference. I am going to be sharing those with you today. And I feel like they're pretty affordable depending on where you're getting it and what size for some of these. Starting off strong, we have Bath and Body Works. Now, before anybody tries to come for me and say that it's very middle school, very aware, but you know what? Bath and Body Works has some great Mushu, you look very cute. Where are you going? New Year's Eve party someday. And I sure. opened up the bottle. Where my glass at? You said you had a headache. Wait, give me some. I'll bring a little. Hold on. My mother's bringing me some soda. But yes, I know Bath and Body Works is tend to be slept on. But let me tell you, girl, with the way the prices are looking right now, I'm not spending. 50 to 100 dollars on one little stinking perfume i don't think so this has actually been my favorite perfume it is sold at bath and body works it is called in the stars maybe you are familiar with it already but this is my favorite of all times from bath and body works and i'm so happy that they kept it oh you've been stingy that's what i've been drinking where are you going no way. you guys haven't tried the beach bellini tea from beach bellini, peach bellini from trader Joe's. So this is one of my favorite fragrance. It says that it's supposed to be starflower and sandalwood. I tend to gravitate towards sandalwood fragrances. I don't know what it is about it, but it just smells so good. Like it's just spot on. Like it's not sweet. It's like fresh. Uh, there's something about I just ate it. There's something about it that just sticks every time. And actually, I had just run out. I went to the outlets because they didn't have it in store for a little while, like three years ago. And I bought five from the outlet. And so I had just run out of my last bottle and Jules bought me another one. And she bought me the hand sanitizer and the lotion. So it was like a whole set. So I was like super uber duper stoked. Again, Bath and Body Works is a hit or miss. I feel like some of their fragrances are repetitive, but you can also find a lot of great dupes and alternatives for a much cheaper price and more products. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't care if you catch me on a Bath and Body Works hate away but you have to try this this is my number one fragrance this is like my go-to fragrance i wear this every day with in the clouds the ariana grande one cloud i combine these two beautiful the next one and before i get into these ones i know i mentioned mac a lot mind you i did work there for almost five years so you have to remember that i have a lot of their product anyway um so if you guys don't know, MAC does sell makeup. That's what they're known for, but they also sell fragrances. Now, I actually really did hate one perfume from them. And if anybody who has worked for MAC or knows about this perfume, comment down below because there is no way in hell anybody actually willingly purchased this with their own working money. I think it was Heroin. It was horrible. But we're not getting into that. So these are the three. I couldn't decide, so I ended up just grabbing all three of them. I have had Cream de Nude. I've had the Velvet Teddy one, which is very similar to Cream de Nude. Now, each one of these are different, but... They are glass, so I'm trying to be careful. So these are the three. Starting off strong with an OG, this is Turquatic. So Turquatic is meant to be a fresh unisex perfume that we used to sell pretty often. They actually have multiple sizes in this one, and this is the only one to ever stick around. Ironically, that scent, that smell that always lingers when you walk in and out of a Mac store is this perfume. 
Mm -hmm. I will say though when it comes to these ones you can get a small size and try it out But personally me i've always loved how it lingered and I like that fresh scent I don't like anything too sweet. I do like floral but nothing too powdery I like more of a soft scent because a lot of the times I get a really bad headache from perfumes So turquatic is more of a fresh again. It's unisex So everybody can wear it and it does come in different sizes now This used to be my go-to when I would be in store if I didn't end up spraying perfume just because a lot of people would ask Oh, what are you wearing turquatic give it a try honestly i think my favorite thing out of the entire store were the fragrances my opinion next we have cream de nude i don't know if they still sell this they sold out of the velvet teddy when i was still working there and they discontinued it velvet teddy was probably me my preferred i don't generally like sweet or vanilla scents but for some odd reason i really like this one so this has madagascar vanilla in it i have nothing but good things to say just because i like the way that it lingers it's almost like a sweet cinnamon smell again this is the cream de nude it almost has like a musky smell to it but it is really nice as far as just for something a little bit sweeter i generally only use these for special occasions and at most i'll put it behind my ear because it just lingers of course when i'm giving people hugs like my girls every time i give them a hug it just it almost transfers in a way and it smells so nice i feel like when you're walking it does linger and you can't go wrong with a sweet vanilla smell again i am pretty picky when it comes to vanilla smells if it's too strong or if it's too sweet and i get a headache after a few minutes usually a no-no but for some reason it is subtle again i don't know too much about perfumes but i just i love this one i love the velvet teddy a lot more i ended up buying this one as an alternative just because i wanted something in substitute so the next and final perfume that i love wearing for mac is candy yum yum candy yum yum and i Ironically, the only thing that they don't sell is turquatic in a lipstick, but Cream de Nude and Candy Yum Yum are actual lipsticks that MAC sells, and they're pretty popular. Cream de Nude is actually what I'm wearing on my lip right now. So I'm wearing the perfume and I'm wearing the lipstick. It is really nice. It's a cream shin lipstick, but it was kind of cool that they made it into a perfume. Now this guy, this actually was my favorite out of all of the perfumes ever sold at MAC. This one was my favorite, the Candy Yum Yum. And I don't exactly know what the scent is, but... It's something about it that makes me really nostalgic back to my time at MAC because I want to say this was the only perfume I ever wear at work just because you had to wear what we sold. I'm not saying that somebody's going to be able to tell Tiffany from MAC, but it does have a subtle sweetness while still being fresh, if that makes sense. I'm not going to lie. There are a lot of things that I told myself I was not going to buy from MAC after leaving because it is expensive. When I was working there, we got a 60% discount, so obviously that's really nice. This one, this one is one that I would purchase with my own money again. Like, this was my favorite favorite perfume I think I have three so yeah this was this was my favorite I loved love 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 this perfume this is my go-to I probably wear this when I am going out it's my going out perfume versus like my everyday a little bougie but if you haven't tried any of the MAC fragrance I highly suggest that you do again candy yum yum candy yum yum is sweet but florally but I've always liked it I really enjoy this one we have candy yum yum cream de nude and turquatic like Nutella or like a Neapolitan shake. I don't know. Anyway, these are my other favorite perfumes. Now moving on to my last and final perfumes. This is Tea's Cream Cloud by Victoria's Secret. Now I feel like there was always like those upgrades. Like in middle school, you use Bath and Body Works, and then once you got into high school, you wore a lot of Victoria's Secret perfumes. Tell me if I'm wrong. Again, I went to high school during 2015 to 2019, so maybe that's not a thing now. I don't know. I see a lot of girls wearing perfumes from Sephora and like Republica and really expensive ass perfumes that obviously I wasn't wearing when I was that age. Anyway, I actually I actually used to wear teas a lot just the regular teas from Victoria's Secret all through high school I think my senior specifically and I actually received it as a gift when I was in Hula I think Alyssa got it for me shout out to Alyssa if you're watching this Missy girl. But this is the one that I ended up trying. I think for my 21st birthday, I had a $50 gift card. I ended up purchasing this with it because I had been wanting to get a new perfume. They ran out of my teas, but they had just launched this one and they were having a GWP. So of course I got convinced by getting a free one and I ended up sticking with this little guy. So this one is sweeter on the sweeter side. I think it's more, it almost reminds me of like marshmallows or cotton candy. So it is sweet, but it's not overpowering. It still smells a little bit like sandalwood while still having like that hint of sweetness. So they do have different types of teases. So again, this one's cream cloud, not tease nor not tease sexy. None of the other teases, you know how they have different versions of it. Tease cream. This one probably is my favorite versus the original now because I think I've fallen in love with it. But yes. And next up you is beauty. The tears from falling First up finally is the Bobbi Brown vitamin C enriched base. I don't know how many times I have mentioned this product, but as you can see, she's gone. 
she has no product whatsoever i got this back in beginning of 2023 and it's almost the end of 2024 and i'm out of it so again i was pretty frugal with how much primer i use i generally don't use a lot but i think this is really great especially for my like just oily skin um it's moisturizing but it's also primer at the same time so how awesome is if you're somebody that has really sensitive skin or even somebody that struggles with acne this one is acne approved smell a little bit like lemon i think the scent is lemongrass i don't know what it is but my makeup always sticks all day it doesn't matter what i'm doing if i'm sweating if i am out in the sun if it's really cold it just makes the makeup sit on the face beautifully so again if you haven't tried this please 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 i highly recommend you try it again this is a miniature size i will be repurchasing for the bigger size and this is the bobby brown vitamin c enriched base you want the perfect base next is the urban decay all nighter spray i know i don't have to speak too much on it because it is very popular i actually received this in a pr packet i actually hadn't used this in a very long time not since i was in high school and i had a miniature bottle this is amazing um i have nothing but good things to say i generally will use this before i put my foundation and after all of my makeup because it holds I think this one is a lot different from the mac studio fix plus i think fix plus is really great because you can use it for for skincare as well as makeup to set everything in but this locks it in i do really like the fix plus but i do feel the all nighter spray just does everything it no show i'm going to um I want to see if it's dying my spot because I have to go see a well. Best setting mist. I think it really locks in the makeup versus MAC where it just kind of locks in the product in one spot, if that makes sense. This kind of seals the deal when it comes to wearing your makeup all night. And I do feel like it sticks. I do like to use this as a primer alternatively. If I don't have a primer or if I notice my skin is doing really bad, I'll just quickly spray this and then I'll go with my foundation, my concealer. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Next, and I'm pretty sure everybody knows about this, is the pink blushes. This is just in general not a specific product just in general i have been obsessed with pink blushes and i'm sure just like everybody else i am easily influenced when it comes to this because i ended up purchasing more i know that it was really popular like two years ago applying the pink blush i do like adding peachy blushes on my skin but the pink blush is just I do love the creams. I have two creams i have this one by mac this is cheeky devil and then i have one by elf I think at one point I was like going to stores and just buying, oh, this is Bora Bora by e.l.f. I ended up buying a bunch of like pink, baby pink blushes and I just started getting really obsessed. And then when I was working at MAC, one of my favorite blushes is Dainty. It's like a bubblegum pink. I really, really love this. It is a mineralized blush, so it has a little bit of shimmer. Into the Pink and Fairly Precious are also very pretty. This is Fairly Precious, but Into the Pink is more of a baby pink with a shimmer. This one is in the shade Pink Swoon it's more of a vibrant pink rather than a baby pink i think with the pink blushes there's just something so cute about it it's almost like giving it a baby doll effect like i don't know if it was just me but when i was younger i used to play with little dolls and you know how they always had those little rosy cheek or like a lot of pink around their cheek area i think that's why i kind of fell in love with all of the pink blushes and i do wear them more frequently than i wear any other blush so pink blushes are my next favorites or have been my favorite <laughs> Lastly on my beauty favorites are some hair products that I really enjoy. Starting off with the Big Hair Dreams. These are pretty much just curling wands. I bought this from TJ Maxx maybe last summer and they were seven bucks. I know you can get these anywhere and everywhere. They are cost efficient and expensive. Um, they're pretty much just these wands that you end up folding your hair and you just curl it in. I have found that using these and sticking it in a sock and then curling your hair and going to bed is the most comfortable and it gives you the most volume. Like if you're somebody that doesn't really know how to blow out your hair or you don't have time or you just don't want to burn your hair, these curling wands will do it for you. Um, this came in a pack of 12 and I don't think you need any more in my opinion truly. I mean if you really feel that you have really thick hair, I know this doesn't seem like it but I do have naturally thick hair. I usually get it thinned out. These are great. You can either do one wand per chunk of hair, you can stick two in a sock but I do recommend using these with socks and then you can sleep with it and then in the morning you have curled hair more time for makeup or eating or whatever it is that you do and less time on your hair giving it that full effect that you got full eight hours of sleep and a blowout so again these are the curling wands next thing i have and actually my sister gave this to me this is a miniature size of the living proof dry shampoo i really enjoyed this product it does feel more clean i recently found out that when you're using dry shampoo you're supposed to spray it let it sit in and then you're supposed to blend it in um yeah i hadn't realized that i love living proof i actually used to have a shampoo size of this and it really got rid of most of my buildup around my hair i may have mentioned this one but my hair gets really really oily 
daily. So this is a lifesaver. I do like Living Proof, the brand on its own. And I have used some of their other products and I have nothing but great things to say. I think at one point I even used a split end mender or like a split end cream. This stuff is incredible. Um, I really love this brand. So having their dry shampoo has been amazing. I do like the way that it smells. So if you're somebody that needs or has really oily hair and you are a little bit indecisive with dry shampoos, Living Proof is one of my favorite. It feels the cleanest and I don't feel any weird residue, which is generally why I stray away towards dry shampoo. But as an adult now, I've had to go back just because I don't always have time to wash my hair every day. I just don't. And lastly, I am going to try to pronounce this brand as best that I can, but I butcher it every time. Dry cough. Schwarzkopf, Schwarzkopf Professional. I really love this brand. It is a little bit more on the expensive side, but you get what you pay for. This is the Smooth Strong Hairspray. And when I tell you she's strong, she is strong. Back when I used to do Tahitian dancing, we always had to have our hair curled or just done. You had to have some makeup on um, just so that you look presentable. And it was really hard when we would go from one show to another show. This was my go-to. This would hold in my curls. I don't always like hairspray just because it makes my hair really crunchy. And once I wash it out, I feel like I have to really condition my ends because you're adding heat to your hair and then you're putting hairspray. And then if you're brushing it, you know, to get rid of the tangles, you're adding breakage. This one is my favorite. I don't have to add more than two sprays on my entire head and it holds. My hair is really soft now that I've been growing out my virgin hair again um so i don't have my dried bleached hair so my curls don't stay just as much which essentially just means my hair isn't dead like before yay uh, my ends are so generally my curls have not been staying i don't generally curl my hair as much i did more of a blowout today because i do have layers they are growing out i have to get a haircut this is probably one of my absolute go-tos when it does come to hairspray something that i can say about this is it does last a very long time there was one night a couple weeks ago where i curled my hair and i sprayed some of this it wasn't a whole lot but it was a good amount um i went to bed and the next day my curls still were intact so if that doesn't tell you that this is a good product i don't know what will try it yourself I do have a lot of their Oasis Plus products as well as the dry shampoo. I have a shine spray and I have another red bottle of this one. So again, if you are looking for a hairspray and you're tired of paying for the cheapy ones that don't do much, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure technically we know somebody that works for the company. So she always hooks it up. Appreciate you, Dita. So yes. So that is actually it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy this video as usual as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, I hope some of you guys can take away or even try some of these products. If you have tried these products before, let me know down below. If you haven't, um, let me know what you would be wanting to try. And also let me know if there's any other products that you would recommend to me. We are so close to 800 subscribers. I can't even believe it. It's crazy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button at the bottom. Check out my podcast channel because I have just uploaded a brand new episode for my one year anniversary at a mad life podcast my name is madeline and i will see you guys next time have a beautiful day oh i forgot to fail to mention by the way if you're curious about today's look or even here go ahead and follow me on all of my social medias at madeline rose young all right bye